Hey everyone, this video will be about the IM subset of CLS. The set has eight algorithms and they're all pretty easy to learn. Uh, I will demonstrate these algorithms and show you some tricks and some ideas uh, to make the learning process very easy. And so to uh, first introduce this set, I know I just twisted a corner on this cube, but this is what the IM set actually looks like. Uh, you have the entire F2L solved, but you have a corner twisted and the corner, uh, your uh, down layer, sticker is facing this way as opposed to this way like on this cube here this would be the i set so this is how you differentiate uh between the i set and the im set the i set is on the left over here and the corner is facing towards you and uh this im set the corner is facing away from you or to the side so that's how you tell that this is the im set and uh, the im set again has eight algorithms all of which are pretty easy to learn so uh, let's take a look at them in the same familiar groups. Uh, they actually group very similar to the uh, I set. So let's get started with the one misoriented corner case. This is the only case where you have one corner wrong. Uh, as you can see, this is definitely an IM case. And uh, every other piece seems to be oriented correctly except this one. So this is the only possible way it can be oriented because this uh, orientation is fixed. So no matter where you have it, um, this will always be this way. And I recognize it from uh, this angle. And I do the following algorithm. And I've noticed this pair has been taken out. goes like that. Alternatively, uh, you can use a shorter ALG for uh, two-handed solving. Uh, it goes like this. So what you do first is uh, rotate uh, this way. It's recognized actually this way uh, with the two corners uh, wrong on top. All right, so when you have two misoriented corners, you can either have them next to each other or diagonal, and these are really clear to see because uh, the corners that are not misoriented are obviously oriented, and you can see the whatever top color you use um, for your solving. So it's pretty clear uh, the difference between these two. So to start with this one, uh, the one adjacent, you hold the uh, wrong corners to the left like this, and you perform four moves, R, u r prime u2 and at this point all you would do is insert this pair uh, and uh, i use the most fundamental way to do it it's probably the way you do it too but r u r prime u and it sets up a three move insertion like that and in the process it also completes your OLO, which is nice and the point of the alg so uh, over here we have the diagonal wrong corners and what you would do first is uh, these four moves, R, U prime, R prime, U. And at this point, you would do a series of repetitive moves. So R, U2, R prime, U2, R, U2, and then R to finish it off. And you have your OLL. When you have three misoriented corners, you have three possibilities. And this is the toughest part of the set. Uh, luckily for us, uh, many of these algorithms have very simple patterns and pair insertions. So to start off with this one, uh, I call this one the regular insertion. Uh, this is just what a regular or most people do uh, in CFOP to just simply solve this pair. And if you position the top layer correctly, it'll solve the OLL at the same time. So I'll show you the uh, ALG in a second, but just take a look at the position. The right corner is on the left, and these... Uh, stickers neatly face to the right and this one neatly faces to the left and this has the appearance of organization to me for some reason i just feel like it's uh pretty cool to have these two stickers move this way and this one point that way it's kind of like a an h case ol except this corner is solved so that's another uh you know comparison you can make uh, when trying to identify this algorithm but pretty much you have these two corners here in this corner here and if you position the solved corner on the uh front left here, you'll solve O along with the regular insertion. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. Uh, this one is no opposite corners. So uh, unlike this one where you have opposite corner direction 
pointing, like uh, this corner is pointing to the left and this corner is pointing to the right. Uh, in this case, you have no pair of opposite corners. So these two are pointing the same direction, and this one's pointing off this way. And uh, this one has also a very, very easy pair insertion. Uh, this one has a pair of opposite corners. It's uh, these two right here. And uh, this piece is pointing some uh, other way perpendicular to uh, the line. If you uh, connected these two pieces with a line, this one would be pointing perpendicular to it. And uh, this also has uh, a pair insertion. To sum it up, uh, the one that resembles the regular insertion is just a regular insertion, and the other two have very simple, easy pair insertions after four moves. So let's take a look at the regular insertion first. Um, so what I would do is R U prime R prime U, and then finish off with R U two R prime U, and then insert the pair. For this one, uh, no opposite corners. I would actually do a rotation and perform the four moves R prime U R U. And as you can see, I have uh, this pair right here. The rest of my F2 I'll solved except this slot. That's the uh, blue red slot. And the pieces in the blue red slot are over here. So I'm just going to pair them. And instead of going this way, I'm going to go this way and simply insert the pair like that and it solves the OOL. And over here, the pair of opposite corners, uh, I'm going to do these four moves, R, U, 2, R prime, U. And over here, we have uh, this insertion, which we've seen before in this video, so go ahead and do it. And now you have your OOL. This is the last set of algorithms, and it contains these two cases. Uh, all of the corners are misoriented in these two cases. There are only two ways they can be misoriented, and these are the two. So for the first one, uh, this one is actually really interesting because uh, no matter how you AUF it, it's always going to be the same. So I call this uh, set same AUF because no matter where you go, it's always going to be the same. So this sticker, there will always be a yellow sticker here no matter how you turn it. I think that's really cool. And for this one, uh, that's not the case, so I just call this not same AUF, uh, just because you, you see this pair of stickers here, and it becomes clear that, you know, there's no really cool pattern when you keep turning the U face. So uh, to get started, let's uh, take a look at the uh, same AUF one. You can actually do this from any angle because it's all the same. Uh, so what I start with is uh, this cluster of moves, R, U prime, R prime, u2 ru2 and then the two moves r prime u and then the first cluster of moves again so and then finish with an r prime and for this one what i actually do is i mirror the uh, the same alg for uh the i set so what i do is i hold it like this and uh for one handed i'd actually rotate the cube and do the alg because it becomes lu but for the purposes of just demonstrating the alg from this angle, I'll use two hands. So it starts with this cluster of moves, uh, L prime U, L U two, and then repeat, repeat again, and insert the pair. And you've got your OLL. All right, so this concludes the demonstration of the IM set of CLS. There are eight algorithms in total divided into four categories, and uh, these algorithms were pretty simple because they involve a lot of prior knowledge, especially the, uh, you know, the default insertion algorithm that I showed earlier. And uh, of course, they have repetitive moves and simple common sense pair insertions. So uh, learning this set shouldn't be too tough uh, if you just put your mind to it and take advantage of the patterns. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask uh, anytime, and if you have your own algorithms for this set, feel free to uh, let everyone know, and uh, I'll add algorithms people volunteer to the description so people can just uh, access it easy. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you on the next video.